Rogers is now urging colleagues to use pro-Palestine lessons in their classrooms this coming Wednesday. But just hours ago, the district issued a firm warning denouncing a planned teach-in. KTVU's Brooks Jarose live tonight in the newsroom with the story. Brooks. Mike, the superintendent calls the teach-in event unsanctioned and not aligned with district educational protocol, and that has brought about some mixed reviews. For about a week, some teachers have been pushing for a Palestine teach-in at all Oakland schools. Focus, they say, on critical thinking, new ideas, and conversations about the conflict in the Middle East. This teach-in about Palestine is education, labor power, solidarity, and resistance, all meshed into one action. But that potential action is getting called out by the district superintendent, saying in part, I am deeply disappointed by the harmful and divisive materials being circulated and promoted as factual. Some Jewish teachers agree. It's awful. Looking at specific lessons geared toward elementary school students, the pictures and the words and the exercises raise more questions. I'm concerned about, you know, my fifth graders coming to music class and asking me, you know, well, are, are you a Zionist? Do you, uh, do, you, do you agree with the genocide in Gaza? Teacher Josh Diamant says some lessons leave out the Holocaust and imply Israel should be wiped off the map. In the name of supposedly teaching critical thinking to our youth, we're instead um, teaching them propaganda and simplistic slogans and frankly teaching them anti-Semitism. I'm concerned that it is receiving such significant blowback. Um, it should not be controversial to teach. But Zara Bilu with the Council of American Islamic Relations says the curriculum explores subjects students don't usually hear about, drawing on history and current events. We get a lot of education about Israel. We get a lot of education about European history. We get a lot of one-sided narratives. This is a response to an existing gap. The Oakland Education Association previously created a rift after voting on a pro-Palestine resolution denouncing Israel and calling for a ceasefire. We have the right to speak up about the present situation in Gaza. Article 9 of our union contract protects our right as educators to academic freedom in our classrooms. OUSD's superintendent has now fired back, saying our expectation is that all educators in every classroom across the district take seriously their responsibility to adhere to principles of education and to keep their personal beliefs out of the classroom. And if you would like to read some examples of the lessons or want to check out the curriculum for yourself, we put it all on our website, ktvu.com. Just click on this story. In the newsroom, Brooks Jabros, KTVU, Fox 2 News. So, Brooks, if a teacher decides to teach on Wednesday, uh, would there be any consequences from the district at all? Well, the district did not provide any specific repercussions or possible punishments, so we're just going to have to basically wait and see. All right. Brooks Rose, live tonight in the newsroom. Brooks, thank you.